today this is nation very star your most preferred youtube channel and um i am always on point with lots of updates that will blow your mind my name is angelo your uncle first on my list of updates without wasting much of your time is um something that uh, that answers the question of what has been happening within the last 24 or 48 hours in the ministry of the niger delta now there has been um an update and reports reaching our table says that a plan has been uncovered something that was secretly planned in the Asso rock um, on the reason why the ministry for niger delta affairs was deleted and um, was closed down now listen to the main secret to why this ministry was closed down no wonder members of the pandev and um, senior stakeholders in the, in the niger delta oil and gas have been asking for the reinstatement of that particular ministry but the government the federal government are yet to answer now listen from our source this is the secret why the niger delta ministry of the niger delta affairs was uh, was cancelled and closed down now listen the niger delta ministers of oil and gas have been tactically redeployed under the federal ministry of petroleum resources where they will be ineffective and ceremonial ministers on paper alone can you now see what is happening now furthermore power play at work femi bajabiamila again is in charge of petroleum under the presidency do you now know why the Ministry of the Niger Delta Affairs was closed down with no useful excuse, with no important or no, no crucial excuse? Can you now see? So all stakeholders and all ministers of oil and gas and um, every other person, director and so on, commissioner, is, on, is now under the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. We are filming Bajabiamila is always supervising this has been their plan all along and if petroleum is under the supervision of filming Bajabiamila, that means we are not safe in this country yes so that means our economy will soon begin to shake this is something of security of national security and this is something of utmost importance to nigerians and um, whoever needs to hear this because if this is allowed to go on I don't think we'll be able to, uh, you know, I don't think we'll be able to try to, you know, reach the level that we have always planned to reach. That is that. Now, secondly, I have something that will expose one of our politicians who has, um, well, he, he has finally not understood that the masses in his state uh, need more resources than he himself. Of course, he has been governor for the past years. And um, as a governor, he's supposed to learn and um, understand that he needs to spend more on his um, uh, on his masses on the or on the mass on the masses in his state, other than spend billions of or millions of naira on himself. Babajide Samolu of Lagos State was spotted in an event yesterday wearing a Patek Philippe wristwatch. If you know designers wristwatch so much, or if you have a knowledge on them, you would know what a Patek Felipe um, wristwatch uh, costs. Now, I will challenge you, check the price tag. When you check the price tag online, you would um, understand what I'm saying. Yesterday, that was when he was seen wearing that um, Patek um, Felipe wristwatch. Now, he is wearing this wristwatch and online, this wristwatch is worth over one hundred and thirty-six thousand pounds. That is what a Patek wristwatch costs now, one hundred and thirty-six thousand pounds. And one hundred and thirty-six thousand pounds. Do you know the equivalence in the Nigerian naira? The equivalence of one hundred and thirty-six thousand pounds is up to a whooping sum of one hundred and twenty-nine million four hundred and eighty-three thousand naira. And this is what a governor is wearing on his wrist, on his wrist, to go for an event. And they were somewhere yesterday 
sharing palliatives to elderly people like peasants and poor vati stricken people that was how they were sharing these palliatives they were throwing it down to people okay is this a way to really cater for your masses is this a very good way to tell them you are after good governance is this a good way to tell them that you are after a stable political system and you're here wearing a wristwatch of millions of naira, thousands of pounds. Let me show you that video where they were throwing down palliatives to elderly people like peasants and poor people. That was how they were trying to portray these Nigerians that ran to the government to collect the palliatives that were given uh, by the federal government to be distributed um, uh, nationwide. They were treating these old people in Lagos State as if they were treating elderly peasants, as if they were treating poverty-stricken people. And these are Nigerians that suffered to come to the polling units to vote during the February 25th election. Watch this video so you'll understand what I'm saying. After wearing a very expensive wristwatch and you're here trying to uh, treat people like paupers. Watch. <laughs> Okay, in another development, I have um, quite a video here. This video is um, talking about French speaking countries in Africa. Um, this francophone speaking countries in West Africa to be precise have decided to cut economic ties with France no matter no matter what happens. And they said heavens would not fall if they cut economic ties with France. No matter the financial, economic, and um, the military domination, they would end French integration in their government or in their governance. This is a good move because um, if you end French domination, then you will not have the same thing that Niger is suffering from. Today. It was because they have planned to end the French domination on their nation that is why they are facing this particular crisis today. If they had done it long ago, they would have been on a very different horizon altogether. This particular speech by this young man is very sad, but that is the truth. So I would urge you to brace up yourselves and um, watch this video. After which, in this same video, you will see at the last part of it, a supporter, a very, very strong supporter of Bola Tinubu has come out to denounce Bola Tinubu and said he regrets voting the APC and he regrets voting Bola Tinubu into power. In fact, as he stands now, he wants Bola Tinubu to be ousted out of Also Rock and somebody else should be reinstated by the tribunal if need be. Watch this video. More details after the break. By the Lake Chad Basin Authority, to replenish Lake Chad. Who is against this? France. Who is against investment in reconstruction in West Africa? France. Who has been supporting, who allegedly has been supporting terror groups in West Africa when the United States called for investigation into Boko Haram? It re was revealed in the Nigerian newspapers that the French has been supporting Boko Haram in Nigeria. So the French create terrorist groups and then goes into African countries to say they are fighting terrorism in Africa. This kind of duplicity by France and fomenting terror and destruction has been challenged by the peoples of West Africa. In every country in West Africa, they're calling for the ending of French economic, financial, and military domination. So we in this country must call on our representatives and our, um, our political forces 
who are progressive, for example, Ocasio Cortez, who is a progressive member of Congress. When she was a student, she went into Niger. Why are they not raising their voices against the militarism and militarization of West Africa by the United States military and to call for investments in health, reconstruction, water supply, and the safety of the people of Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, man. How you been? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nigeria. Nah, uh, Nigeria don't tire us. So. Nigeria tire. You tire us well, well, well. You are APC, so you should be enjoying the dividends of democracy. My brother, it's not what we expected. It's not what we expected. Uh, we thought that uh, the man in power would have done better. Yes. But we are all disappointed. Uh, it's not what we expected, and that is why we are clamoring. There is so much uh, echoes in every quarter that a uh, tribunal should do the needful, the should do the needful. Uh, to make sure that this man goes out so that a competent hand will come and uh, finance the economy. So, so All right, yeah, that was the video there. I would urge our viewers like our videos, share them. Don't forget to drop a comment for us in the comment section. Please do all this because um, when you do this, you make us go viral. Um, call your siblings, your family members, your, your well wishes, your friends to come and share in this video to all social media platforms, all groups and, all, and so on and so forth so that everybody will get to know that there are people who are willing to say the truth and speak out for or in the stead of Nigerians. And finally, always do so or always do well to drop a comment for us in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time and subscribe tap, tap the notification bell too if um, you want to get linked up to me anytime i'm dropping a new video now um the video in that um uh, particular um update lastly says that um people are becoming wiser all right we saw that during the NSAS protest in nigeria in 2020 and um we saw that um, if you push masses to the wall they would fight back and when they fight back it um, tends to be so, so brutal and pathetic. Let us hope these things don't um, cover the whole of Africa because Africa is too big to go into extinction anytime soon. Now, um, there has been a peaceful protest on, on the all eyes of the judiciary statement that has been going on within the past 48, 24 to 48 hours in Abuja and nationwide. According to reports, Today, security operatives molested and arrested people that were involved in the all eyes on the judiciary peaceful protest in Abuja. This is not supposed to be the case because we are in a nation where everybody has the right and freedom of speech. So why will security operatives uh, come up to arrest people that were involved um, in this um, um, all eyes on the judiciary protests in as much as we understand the fact that um, the security operators are trying to keep peace but this is just um, a peaceful protest and it is a reminder for the judiciary to do the needful other than go by um, the people in the high places and their pockets a secret video was taken uh, at the place where or at the venue where security operatives the SS officials the Nigerian police force and the Nigerian army we are seen from far molesting protesters that were involved in the all eyes on the judiciary protest. It was a secret video, so you would watch it from a very far distance. If they see anyone using any camera close to that um, environment, they quickly collect the camera and break it to the floor. And this is actually undemocratic of security operatives. Watch this video. <laughs> They killed that guy. Which key? They beat him. I know. If I no capture him, then na waste na. What did the guy do? Nothing. And what happened to this woman? Now she was also videoing. So they follow her. They they scatter themselves. Did they arrest that old man? DSS. DSS have been a police. Both DSS. All of them, army. See army. See, see army. army now. See army. So, what's the real thing with the guy? 
Nothing now. You don't know your Nigerian. No be tarant. Uh, this demonstrate. Uh, this. Uh, they beat the boy. They won't call the man phone. This country. They don't see the man. And I don't call that one that one cell phone. And I even hold my. I hope so they will look. Mona, they look out for me. If I tell anybody where they funny, Mona, don't, tell me. Don't worry, they do what I do. After you go send your phone, they show the thing where. Hmm? You don't lose your sleeper. Just the drive. Okay. I don't lose them. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch for you. Right, all said and done. You've seen it there that um, our Nigerian security operatives are actually after who pays the highest, other than keeping the law and order that um, they were established for. So let us hope that these things change. Um, over time because we can't continue having this we can't continue being molested uh, over peaceful protests that is uh, meant to bring um, peace tranquility and development to the nation let us hope nigeria gets wiser through the tribunal hence all eyes should be on the judiciary thank you so much for staying with us from our table here we're going to be drawing the curtains see you next time bye